Welcome back to City Grilling. My name is Rob Ford. In today's episode, I'm going to do a Dutch Baby pancake on the grill. These are delicious. If you've never had one, look up some recipes. I'll have one for this post. But the first thing I need to do is light the grill. I have a cast iron skillet, about 10 inches in diameter, and I'm going to light the grill. I need to get the grill up to 375 to 400 degrees. I'm going to light all my burners about medium low right now to get this to get this hot. So this will take maybe about 10 minutes uh, and I'll just let it go. In the meantime I'll go ahead and mix up our recipe. Alright we're inside and now we're going to make the batter for the Dutch baby pancake. I have three eggs already inside my food processor. They're at room temperature. I also have some milk, three quarters cup, I'm going to pour inside of here at room temperature as well. Then I have some flour, right? I'll go ahead and pour that in. And about a, a teaspoon or so of sugar, just white sugar in here. Some vanilla extract. That's what makes it really good. And just a pinch, pinch of salt right there. I'll go ahead and mix this up until it's frothy. Make sure the eggs are well mixed. Looks pretty good. Just like that. Go ahead and mix that around. Yeah, that looks that looks perfect. I'll go ahead and put this in another container as my uh, skillet heats up, and then we'll put it on the grill. All right, I got the batter made up. I'm gonna go check the grill again. I can see I'm at 375, almost 400 degrees on the grill. My pan's gonna be plenty warm, so I'm gonna take three tablespoons of butter. I'm going to go ahead and put it inside this pan. Scoop out a little bit more. The butter sure makes it taste good. This will help keep the batter from sticking too much. And as it's heating up, I'm just going to coat around the sides. This is a, a well seasoned pan, so it should work just fine. So that looks great. I'm going to take the batter and go ahead and pour it into the skillet. And we'll let this cook. Again, at this 400, 375 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes, maybe up to 30 minutes. So this is going to get flaky. It's going to lay flat at the bottom and it's going to curl up around the sides. It's incredible. All right, it's been 20 minutes. We're just going to take a sneak peek to see how this Dutch baby pancake's turning out. So we'll just open it up and look at that. Oh, it's looking good. It needs probably another... I don't know, five, ten minutes maybe. Get a little bit more uh, golden brown around the edges. All right, I brought in the uh, Dutch Baby Pancake. It looks beautiful. Every time you cook these, the shape's always different, and that's what makes it so nice and fun. Now, it's golden brown, as you can see. A little, little crispiness on the bottom. That's perfect. Of course, I'm going to use a, uh, what, a pizza knife to cut this into pie shape. What's fun to do, you can use some convection sugar and just sprinkle it on top. Almost like a circus waffle. If you ever had a circus waffle at a carnival or amusement park, you can also put uh, any kind of fruit on this, as well as maple syrup. All right, let me cut it. So I finished cutting the Dutch baby. It looks beautiful. I'm just going to go ahead and take a slice away from this. Give it a try. I really like the powdered sugar with it. Mm, delicious. Try this recipe. You can also do it in the oven, but I like it on the grill much better. Enjoy.